Tom, what's the latest? Good morning, Sage. Well, this morning, the website TMZ.com is reporting that Florida Highway Patrol troopers are in the process of trying to obtain a search warrant to get Tiger Woods medical records. That to determine if the wounds that he suffered in that single car crash are consistent with a car accident or with an episode of domestic violence. In addition, the website is reporting that troopers are exploring the possibility that Woods may have been taking uh, some sort of prescription painkiller at the time of the accident, opening up the possibility for a charge of driving while impaired. We reached the Florida Highway Patrol this morning and their response was direct and it was blunt. The agency has made no such statement of that nature, we were told. The crash remains under investigation. As mentioned, for the third time in three days, troopers from the FHP came to Woods' home yesterday to try to learn more about the nature of the crash, and for the third time, they were turned away. Woods has hired high-profile Florida attorney Mark Nijam now in the case. He canceled that meeting. When Nijam was reached early Sunday evening, he told ESPN Woods stood by the statement he made regarding his privacy, and he would not be making any comments to anyone about the accident, including the police. Tom, what can you tell us about his plans, Tiger's plans for this week? Well, this week is the Chevron World Challenge. It's an event that's very important to Woods. It's an event that he hosts, that he typically competes in. It draws a small and elite field, and it benefits the Tiger Woods Foundation, certainly his philanthropic passion. There has been no word yet on whether Woods will host the event, whether he will attend, whether he will compete. But obviously, he traditionally addresses the media on Tuesday of that event. We'll have to see if, in fact, he goes to Southern California, where it takes place. That is our Tom Rinaldi with the very latest on this developing story, the accident involving Tiger Woods. Tom Rinaldi, thank you.